Hi, and welcome back to part 2 of this tutorial. To get started you will need to open the GIMP app. There will be a link in the description where to download GIMP from. Whilst that loads head to Google Drive to access the wireframes for all cars in ACC. Link in the description. Search for the car you are designing. When you have found the car you are looking for, right-click on the PSD file. It is important that you download the .psd file and not the .png file. When you have downloaded the file, grab the file and drop into the GIMP app, like shown. When it has loaded you will see a window appear. Press Convert. This will convert from Paint Shop format to the GIMP format. Once you have done that, head to File. Then create to image like shown. A new window will pop up. Make sure that the image size is set to 4096 by 4096. Then hit OK. A warning window will pop up, just press OK again. A background will appear on screen. Just delete this layer, then head back to your browser. Grab the .psd file and drop in GIMP. Repeat same instructions as before. Now we are going to export the image to the ACC. Go to File, Export As, then open the documents file. Search for ACC, open the ACC file and open the Customs folder. Open the livery folder and you will need to find the name of your new livery, that you saved in the previous video. When you have found your livery open the folder. Clear their file name section. Then name the file as decals.png. Export the file, then head to the other image and repeat this process, although this time export the file as sponsors.png. Always select the interlacing option when exporting your livery, when the export image window pops up. Don't forget to like the video, and if you like to see more content like this please leave a comment. Also please subscribe to help BOA TV keep growing. Ok now that is done open ACC. You will need to back out of the car selection mode, then go back in. Find the car you are working on and you should see that it has changed. There will be a pause of about 3 seconds. This is normal as will be explained shortly. Now we are ready to start designing your livery. We are going to start with the decals layer and painting one panel with the free select tool. Add a new layer then cut around any section. Creating different layers allows you separate different parts of your design. You will usually want to change little things. When you have cut around the panel grab a color from the color select icon. Drag and drop into the selected panel. You can also use the bucket tool by pressing shift plus B. Then go to the wireframe layer and press the I icon to hide the layer. Press shift plus E to export for a short cut. You will need to go to your livery file and delete the .dds files. These files were introduced to reduce lag when drivers load into the server. You will need to delete the .dds files every time you export and load your livery in-game. You can now see a painted panel. This is the basics of designing the livery. 
Learning the parts of the wireframe can be very time-consuming, but rewarding when done well. We will repeat the process, but this time with the sponsor layer. The decal layer is for the paint design, and the sponsor layer is for things like logos and images. Both layers can have different paint finishes. Changing the name of a layer can help to find it later when you have several layers. Please check out our website boa-esports.com. You can leave the paint finishes of both layer the same if you choose, but we will show you how to change them. There will be a link in the description where to find the code for all the paint finishes. Go back to the ACC file and open the .json file of the layer you want to alter. Go to the ACC wiki page, link in the description. Scroll down until you find the paint finishes. Highlight the finish you want then go back to notepad and copy and paste over the original code as shown. Save it then head back to the game and reload your car. You can now see the difference of the matte next to the gloss finish. And that concludes part 2 of our tutorial. Thank you for watching. We will be releasing a video on how to export liveries to share with leagues and friends. So please subscribe and don't miss out. Till next time.